In this short video, I am going to show you how you can access your PC from anywhere in the world, just by using any web browser, not just a particular type, so you can do this from just about any PC. Like the Firefox one you can see on screen at the moment. This makes it ideal for environments like a work PC or a relative's PC, where you don't have control what software is installed. Even if you already have a remote control solution in place or are considering a new one, there are a few things I think you should be aware of. Firstly, it should work with all Windows versions, as well as Linux and Mac OS, so regardless of any future operational system changes you may make, you can still use the same remote control solution. You should not open any port on your home router, and forward it onto your PC as that can be dangerous, unlike say you can with a games console. And if you have two, it certainly should not be a well-known remote control software port like 3889 for RDP or 4000 for the NX protocol, which internet bots will automatically scan for. As a test for this video, I monitored login attempts to my PC when I opened the RDP port of 3389 in my router, and found I was getting between 100 and 200 PC logon attempts per hour. Whereas, when I changed the RDP router internet facing port to a high obscure one, and forwarded that to the PC's 3389 RDP port, then the logon attempts dropped to only one or two per hour. Your PC should be protected from access from the internet ideally with more than one password, and if only one is needed it should certainly not be on this list of the 100 most used passwords, which I have put on screen. It should be complex, at least 8 characters in length, not found in a dictionary, and not something that can be guessed easily like a family member's or pet's name. In fact, your password should also not appear on the full list of the most common 10,000 passwords, as almost all internet bots will try those first. I have put a link in the YouTube description to the Wikipedia page that shows all 10,000 of them, for you to look at later. You should also not need to install client PC software, just so you can access your home PC because unless you have full administrator rights on the client PC, you won't be able to install any. The remote control solution I am going to show you today, passes all of these tests. Well enough introduction, let's get cracking. On screen you can see my Windows 10 home PC which I want to set up so I can remotely access it from anywhere. To do that, there are a small number of steps I need to do or check are already in place, and some need to be done regardless of the remote solution used. I will put them on screen, partly so I don't miss any during this demo. The first step, if you don't have it anyway, is to install the Google Chrome web browser. Rather than demonstrate that, as you are probably more than comfortable doing that yourself, Though the magic of video, the Google Chrome web browser will automatically be installed, and its icon will appear on my desktop, and I will move straight to the next step. For this step, which is common to all remote control solutions, you will see me check the sign-in option in Force's password. Because remember, if the sign-in option was say to use face recognition, when trying to sign in remotely, you will not be sitting in front of the PC to allow that. For step 3, another common step, I stop my PC going to sleep, so when I am trying to connect to it remotely using any solution, it responds when being contacted. For step 4 I log into my Google account, as this is where details of each of my remotely accessible PCs will be stored.
the last step I now go to the Chrome Remote Desktop website and install the requested web browser extension and the Windows MSI packaged software it takes me through. I give this PC a name so I recognize it when connecting. And then an access pin to further protect internet-based connections to it. And that's it, this PC is ready for remote access, and we have not had to mess with the router by opening ports etc and making your PC open to attack from the internet. Now on screen you can see my work PC, some 20 miles away from home, and to which I don't have administrator access, which means I will not be able to install any remote control client software. So I open my web browser, which happens to be Firefox so not a Google Chrome browser or one of its derivatives, and go to the Chrome Remote Desktop Access web page. When it prompts me, I sign into my Google account, as that is where details of all my accessible remote PCs are stored. There I can see my home PC, which I select. I now enter the access pin I set up when I enable remote access, that further protects my home PC. Now I am connected, and as you can see it is contained within the web browser, and I have not needed to install any software to achieve this. When I connect, it takes me to whatever screen I was last on. Which is when I left home this morning I signed out after using it, it takes me to the logon screen, so I sign in. The menu on the left has a number of options, to demonstrate I select the resize screen option which makes it fill the web browser better. I make it full screen by using the general F11 key, which makes any web page a browser is currently displaying, full screen. And then by pressing the F11 key a second time, I return to the windowed view. Also in the menu you will see options to upload and download files. I select the download file option, which opens the file selection window on my home PC. I select a file, and it downloads it to the PC I am sitting at, via the normal web browser process. To finish, I sign out on my home PC and then disconnect from it. Then, to tidy up, and because I don't want to remain signed into my Google account on this PC, I log out. And that's it, you can see how useful this can be, grabbing a file or two, or setting something like a large games download running. And because Google have clients for iPhones and iPads in the Apple App Store, and for Android phones and tablets in the Google Play Store, you can just as easily connect from any of them too. On screen you can see the YouTube video, that the algorithm has selected especially for you, based on your past viewing preferences. And if you want to see more instructional videos, like this one in the future, click on the CloudTech logo. Thanks for watching.